All right, we're going to talk about behavior really quick. Um, we're not going to spend too much time on it, but uh, just a little bit here, some things to notice. Um, when you have your corn snake at home, uh, you want to make sure that you're being gentle with it while you're handling it. Um, let him talk to you with his behavior. Uh, if he starts to rattle his tail, as they do sometimes, corn snakes do what they, what's called mimicry behavior. They like to rattle their tail and leaf litter, things like that. It's kind of mimicking a rattlesnake. They want to t they're telling you that they're a little nervous, be careful. Uh, they, they don't quite trust you yet. Um, be aware of the tongue licking around. What he's doing is he's sensing the air, smelling it, sensing heat, things like that. Um, you're going to wa want to watch his body posture. The body posture is going to tell you a lot about what the snake wants to do. If he starts to S, do the S curve, which is when a snake's... See if I can get him to do it for me a little bit. So he pulls his head back a little bit like that. What he's getting, he wasn't getting ready to, but what that can mean is that he's getting ready to strike. Generally what they're going to do is they're going to pull their head back and they're going to make the coils in between the main body and the head bigger. It's going to give them a longer distance to strike. It's a good thing to watch out for on a, you know, on a general handling basis just to make sure that you're not going to get bit uh, without your knowledge.